We'll have a mm, what is it good for? Yeeting loads of goblins, that's basically the game. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, I am the Spiffing Brit, and today you'll join me in Total War Warhammer. It's just a really good game. It's exactly what you want in a Total War game. It's got great big maps which you can paint in great big glorious colours, and you can make your own empires, there's even trade resources. This game has it all. Today, in Total War Warhammer, the first of the Total War Warhammer games, I'm going to be showing you a lovely cheesy strategy which you can use at home to have absolutely tons of fun and just annoy the AI. Disclaimer however, this is likely to ruin a certain amount of balance in the game and may or may not make the game feel a bit too easy. So use this exploit at your own discretion, but I say it's a ton of fun and should be used at least a few times. Oh no, the coaster is stuck to the bottom of my tea mug. Go. Oh, there we go, coaster away. How was I meant to drink my tea? Oh, that's some good tea. So what are we going to be doing today, ladies and gentlemen? Well, I'm going to be demonstrating to you the power of magnificent heroes in this game. In this game, you have lords. They are individual units. They can run across the battlefield like this man here and give them a great big slash with that big stabby sword. However, alongside lords, you can also have heroes. These could be spellcasters. They could be battle mages. Or maybe they are just a skeleton with a special stick. And these heroes are very powerful. When it comes to combat with regular units, they will almost always win, when used correctly. Now, I absolutely love the Total War games, and if you'd like to see me do a few more, then hey, give me a shout and I'm sure we can do it. And without further ado, I think it's time we dive right into this video. So, we want to start a brand new campaign. And of course, we're going for the Old World campaign. Mmm. Now, in this game, you can play as various factions. There's the Empire, which is an absolutely fantastic thing because as a British person, I love empires. There's only one slight issue. The Empire is led by a man called Karl Franz. Now, I don't know about you, but that does not sound very British. That sounds almost German. So this is like a German empire, ladies and gentlemen. And then, of course, we have the Dwarves, the Bretonians, the Bordeaux. There's the Carcassonne as well, some Greenskins, the bloody hands, but of course, the people we're going to be playing, the Von Karsteins. Now, apparently, this game says the initial challenge of the Von Karsteins is hard. I, however, am going to be showing you the exact opposite, ladies and gentlemen. This campaign is not hard. This campaign is, in fact, one of the easiest the game can ever give you. So, ladies and gentlemen, today, we'll be playing as Isabella Von Karstein, who you can see right here. She is, of course, a vampire, but she's a vampire queen. And just in the same way that our queen gains her powers and life force off of drinking copious amounts of tea, this queen gains her life force off of drinking blood. Now, of course, many people playing this game would be like, well, I want to play the faction leader, Vlad von Karstein. He looks great. But, I mean, come on, he is actually completely and utterly terrible. Instead, you want Isabella von Karstein. She is the heir of the Mad Count, a powerful spellcaster, and master of the law of vampires. Now, why do you want her over Vlad? Now, Vlad's special abilities are that he can move faster than most other lords, and all of his units have the ability to deploy right in the face of the enemy. Isabella, however, has the abilities of weapon damage plus 25% for all vampire heroes, and vampire hero capacity plus three. Okay. So basically, Isabella allows the most overpowered unit in the game to be more overpowered and also to have more of them. So why wouldn't you want to play her? And so that's exactly what we're going to be doing. And you know what? I'm going to crank it up to normal difficulty. If you start going into hard and legendary, then what happens is the AI just starts spawning armies out of the void for some reason. And as fun as it is to provide a nice challenge, it just doesn't really work with the fact that I have a limited amount of time today as I need to have tea with the Queen this afternoon. And by the way, Way, ladies and gentlemen, this Sunday, that's right, this Sunday, maybe the day this video comes out on, or maybe the previous day, it is the Queen's birthday. I know, the Queen of England and the wonderful British Empire, it's going to be her birthday. It's fantastic. And to celebrate the Queen's birthday, I think, you know what, we should send her a birthday card. And what better birthday card to send her than a Moonpig birthday card? <laughs> 
Uh, I don't really know if this is a good idea, so I'm going to say if you guys would like to see um, us, the community, send a birthday card to Queen Elizabeth, then why not? Let's give it a go. Oh my goodness. I'm going to say at a wonderful 10,000 likes on this video, I will send a moon pig birthday card to the Queen of the British Empire. <laughs> And if you have any recommendations of what we put in the birthday card to the Queen, and go down into the comments section. I mean, how are you meant to write to your own royalty? She's just too magnificent. She really is. And hello everybody. Welcome into the game. We are playing, of course, as the wonderful Von Karstein family who owns this single region here. That's all we have. We're actually quite weak at the start of the game. Yes, we are strength rank 8, which is um, actually not too bad at all. That puts us pretty high up in the game. However, our first move is going to take us from being strength rank 8 to being probably strength rank 1. So as you can see, we have some incredible characters over here. We have Isabella von Karstein, who is our legendary lord leading our armies. As you can see, she's leading quite a nice meaty army, which we're filling up with very weak batty boys. But her two special units in her armies are good old Kevin and Nigel. Now, Kevin and Nigel are Vargeists. They are massive death bats, which have the ability to shred almost everything you put in front of them. So yes, we're going to be using those bad boys for greater effect. But who else do we have assisting Isabella von Karstein? Well, we have the legendary Susan Smashmouth. That's right, Susan's back, but this time she's a vampire. As you can see, she's gone through a few changes, but don't worry, she's still the honorable Susan we know and love. So Susan here is a vampire hero who we can use in our army to assist in our battles, or we can send her out onto the map and use her to start shredding up enemy fortifications, which is what we're going to do. So Susan, please get right the way up to the enemy front line. Now, our other special hero is Stephanie Clavage. That's right, this is actually the wife of Seymour Clavage. I know, who knew Seymour could find love in his lifetime? So yes, this is Seymour Clavage's lovely wife and she's here and joining us in Total War Warhammer as a vampiric death lord. And we're going to be using her immediately on Manfred von Karstein and having her demoralize his army. If this is a success, Stephanie Clavage will instantly level up. And it's a success! And well, bam, she levels up. What are we going to make her? Well, we're going to safeguard her, and that should give her some more armor, making her even better when it comes to fighting. So there we go. Stephanie Clavage has leveled up, and that's our first turn complete. Now let's see what the AI does. Now, the vampire counts who we're attacking, we're technically not at war with them. We are allowed to be very mean to them, but we're not at war with them. So for that sole reason, they're quite indifferent towards us, especially considering we did do some hostile hero actions against them. Oh, this is very nice, actually. So for some reason, Tempelhof has decided to place an army next to us. This is an army consisting mostly of zombies. Oh now, this is brilliant. So our early game strategy is mostly just all about gaining as much experience as possible. As we can see, we have a very close army near us, so logically we should attack them. But quickly, just before I attack them, we're going to recruit our legendary lord, Vlad von Karstein. Come on out, Vlad. He's the best lad around. And whilst we're busy fighting, Vlad is going to be recruiting some chumpy zombies and spear boys to join the fight in our upcoming battles. Anyway, Isabella, it's time to destroy the Chod army, with your two heroes assisting you. Yes, this is a great act of war. For some reason, we're now strength rank 3. This is for the sole reason that we hired Vlad von Karstein. As soon as you do that, the game goes, right, well, you've just won. Yes, your chances of winning this are very low. However, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to demonstrate to you how we're going to win this with as few losses as possible. Now, I'm not a big fan of losing lovely infantry. I'm only going to say this is a successful battle if we manage to lose no units whatsoever. That's the aim today, ladies and gentlemen, to demonstrate the power of the completely broken hero ball to show off just how cheesy it is. Right, and here we are in the game. As we can see, the enemy has positioned themselves right up on this nice little hill. Well, um, we're not really interested in that, and instead we want to take Kevin and Nigel here and get them nice and close because they're going to be assisting us, and we're also going to select all three of our heroes and prepare for the ultimate hero ball. Now, what is the enemy going to do? Are they going to try and charge us? Oh, it looks like they are. Oh, this is lovely. Hello, skeleton warriors. They already start out drained because uh, they've been running around the map for a fair bit, so they're going to be knackered. Now, to begin with, Susan Smashmouth is going to use a special ability, which is Spirit Leech. This effectively allows her to drain the life force of the enemy lord. So as soon as we get close enough, Susan is going to just drain his soul. So there we go, Susan. When we get nice and close, drain him. So Susan's 
Susan's gonna get into a lovely little casting position. Go, Susan, go! And cast! There we go. Yes, we're killing the enemy lord immediately. <laughs> Good, Susan, good. Wow, he's gone past half health. Wow, he is, uh, yep, he's almost dead. That was a good start. Anyway, we want as much experience for our lords as possible, so we're going to send them into the skeleton trod force. Now, of course, remember, whilst we're doing this, our entire army's just standing over there. We don't need them in this fight. Even if the enemy had double the army, we simply wouldn't need them with what we have. Right, here they come to fight us, so we brace ourselves for a lovely fight. Oh, and... <laughs> Well, this is good. Uh, so the enemy lord tried to cast a healing spell on the dire wolves to assist them in combat, but miscast the spell and so has burst into a ball of... <laughs> oh, there's his body. <laughs> Right, the enemy lord's dead. Great, that makes our job a fair bit easier. Right, and now go into battle and build up some experience. Go, my minions, go! God, I can't wait to have a battle with zero losses. They're just going to start crumbling and die. This is going well. Everyone gets some kills in, and then everything is jazzy. Ah, and I do believe that's the enemy army wiped. Well, not too bad for a first battle. Let's see what the post-game stats say. Ah, yes, it really does feel like that. Yes, deployed 189, zero losses 221 kills hmm god i love this game and we got the dragon helm armor oh and you also get an upgrade lovely i've given isabella a speed boost so she's going to be able to dance around the map much faster and we're going to send her into castle drakenhof territory with the hope of taking this castle from manfred right you know what i think now's the turn we'll, we'll actually go for it we've got good old vlad von karstein here and we've also got his wife isabella here and even though we're down a hero i think now is the perfect time to attack castle drakenhof oh god actually as a big army standing in there right we're gonna wait one turn then or we could just take eschen that also works i mean it is a nice tasty province with wine let's go oh perfect so we have another fight going on here we have good old vlad and isabella helping out each other again attacking eschen you know i think this one's an auto resolve seriously we lost one kevin how on earth does that even happen i suppose we did kill over 200 people now over here we have quite a large army this is led by tempelhof they're defending a settlement which in itself has a large garrison however we have isabel and and Vlad and combined they're hopefully going to be able to do wonders we're just going to a quick encirclement summon in the Vlad lads and now oh the auto resolve is very much in our favor even though we are consisting mostly of chod and fell bats the game thinks this is gonna go great how was that only a close victory game how was that a close victory oh and yes here we go this is exactly what I wanted so after a while there's a chance that your heroes can start picking up magical items now one of these magical items includes Fireball, which is a magic missile. This game has quite a few glitches involving Fireball, other than it being a very, very powerful magic spell which can do incredible amounts of damage, it is also broken for the fact that you can cast it a unlimited amount of times in a battle, making your heroes turn into literally mounted sentry machine guns with no counter. But hey, don't worry, Isabel's just got that. And we're also going to upgrade Isabel with the Curse of Undeath, which as you can imagine is a perfectly balanced spell, as the Curse of Undeath simply means that whenever she is in combat she is able to continuously replenish the hit points of everyone and what is the effect range let's look at that oh the effect range is map wide that's fine oh and because we just had a large battle where we absolutely rinsed the ai we now have a battle marker meaning the raise deadpool is likely to have some very jazzy units in it if we leave it alone for a bit which is exactly what we're going to do but anyway next turn we'll send vlad in to single-handedly take castle tempelhof and apparently tempelhof would like a peace treaty <gasps> that's very nice tempelhof however if you can't quite see Vlad has now become strength rank 1, meaning he can't be defeated by puny mortals like you. Though they're not really mortals, I guess. They are vampires. And apparently this is looking like a risky battle, but um, I actually see this as a golden opportunity to use Vlad and Stephanie together. They're going to have a great time. So, you know, we're just going to fight this battle immediately, I think. Yes, we could technically summon in Isabel and cheat assist and so on, but I think we can do this without taking any losses and just using two heroes. So what are we going to do? We have all all of these lovely skeletons and bats we're going to put them right at the back of the map we want them out of the range of any towers as we don't want them involved in the fighting they're great but if any of them die i just feel bad so instead we're going to have our two heroes just literally charge at the wall so we're going to put our two heroes here the battle starts and they're going to run up the wall and where is the enemy deployed the enemy's deployed over there oh god what are they doing so vlad and stephanie have to defeat these skeletons right, well, we're instantly going to start by casting 
casting a spell of death upon them. Oh, and Stephanie's taken some damage, but don't worry. Vlad can pop a heal on her, and lo and behold, she goes right back up to full health immediately. Good stuff, Vlad. Good stuff indeed. So, who's going to win? Vlad, a Lord of Death, versus Skeleton Spearman. I mean, yes, there are a lot of Skeleton Spearmen, but this is Vlad von Karstein. All right, Vlad, cast, nerf attack. So Vlad has now made it so the opponent he's fighting can't damage him, which is perfectly fine. Oh, wow. Stephanie just absolutely rinsed everyone around her. Stephanie, join Vlad. Oh, the enemy's crumbling now. Oh, they're crumbling. Well, that was an easy fight. Well done. Oh, another group of skeletons has arrived. Right, well, let's um, say hi to them. You know what, Stephanie, you can cast another one of your spells. Have fun. Oh, it's very nice that they're literally running into us one by one. God, you know this game's pretty balanced when you can just have two heroes single-handedly take an entire city. And this isn't even like a pathetic city. This is the capital of the enemy at the moment. Well done, Vlad and Stephanie. You've done a great job. All right, I think the enemy only has a few units left. They've got these zombies down here on the floor, so they should be nice and easy to defeat. There we go. Let's say hello to them. And you know, whilst we're down here, Vlad, pop a nice area of effect heal on both of you, and we'll also make it so that they can't do any damage. Lovely. So now we have zombies who are crumbling, who have no attack, fighting two absolutely immortal death heroes. Ah, there we go. Decisive victory. So a lovely successful game where Vlad and Stephanie single-handedly took out a entire city defended by 270 chod just themselves that's great thank you very much for that uh, wonderful fight there Derek von Karstein your capital city is now ours oh we got a wand of jet oh increases power reserves and power recharge that's brilliant oh and Vlad got a level up beautiful now Vlad we're going to give him this lovely bonus here this is the hunger meaning whenever Vlad is in combat he is going to be continuously regenerating hit points this means if Vlad is ever low on health what you do is you don't take him out of combat, you send him in to fight a ton of, say, zombies. Now, zombies are literally trash. So you can basically permanently heal someone just by sending them in to fight absolutely weak units because they can never die if they're continuously regenerating health. Oh, that's good. Oh, and good old Manfred von Karstein decided to leave his castle, meaning it's open to attack, which is exactly what we're going to do. Thank you for your castle. It will now be mine. It's now time for Vlad and the lads to take on Manfred von Karstein. So Vlad, in we go. Now, the game is not sure how this one's going to end because Manfred here has quite a meaty army, including Vargas, which is something we don't have. So we're going to have to be nice and careful. Oh my god, and Manfred did it again! He did it! Manfred just killed himself! <laughs> Oh, he tried to heal the Vargas. I mean, he successfully healed them, but he did just end up killing himself in the process. <laughs> oh, that makes my life a fair bit easier. Uh, sadly, Vlad is having to single-handedly fight some Vargas, but you know what? He's doing an okay job. Oh, no, Vlad, run. Run, Vlad. Oh, Vlad. What a hero. Oh, yes, the Vargas are almost dead. Very good. And Vlad, I'm going to need you to do a large heal on our units here, and that should do a nice, very big resurrect. Good, Vlad. Good. Now all of our zombies are coming back to life, <laughs> meaning we could just focus on the enemy. Oh, that's great. All right, kill all the crypt ghouls. Now that Vlad's nerf stone is ready, nerf that Vargolf, and finally we can get to work killing that bad boy. Yep, yep, the last thing left is the Vargolf. We've done it. Oh, we've only gone and done it. Oh, oh, that battle. What a battle. That really wasn't looking in our favor, but uh, all we had to do was sacrifice some zombies, watch Manfred commit suicide via heals, and yeah, GG, game won. <laughs> all right, okay, now we're going to plow Vlad into the remains of Manfred. Manfred's army, and that's going to be an easy fight. There we go. Lose a few more choddy zombies, but that's fine. All right, so Isabella, you're going to take Castle Drakenhof. Uh, next turn, I believe in you. You'll do great. Don't you worry. And so I think then we've polished up all of the vampires in the world, excluding us, which is perfect. And actually, maybe if we speed Vlad, yeah, Vlad can come out and hang over at Castle Drakenhof as well. Oh, yes, we've got the full squad together now. Four legendary heroes versus, admittedly, we've got Crypt ghouls, which are very powerful units, and also Graveguard and Vargeists. Oh, yes, what a battle this could be if only we weren't completely and utterly broken in the eyes of the AI. Right, so what are we going to do? Entire army, sit in the forest and do absolutely nothing, please. However, we do have a massive swarm of bats. Bat Swarm Squad is going to do some beautiful things. Vargai Squad is also going to be very cool. And then we just have the Hero Ball. I think we start the battle and send hero ball straight up the walls and bat squad instead of getting shot up by the towers i want bat squad to take out the vargeists go bat
Fight Squad, go! And then our two new heroes have arrived. Bam, you guys scale the wall. And now that they've crossed the walls, they also no longer take damage from the towers. Perfect, Bats, perfect. And now Vlad's up here as well. Vlad, drop down another mega nerf on the enemy. Oh yeah, this is going great. Good, good stuff. Oh, and Stephanie's taking some damage. Stephanie, run! Run, Stephanie, run! Oh, for goodness sake, Stephanie, if you die here, Stephanie... <sighs> Great. Stephanie is now literally dying. Great. Thanks, Stephanie. Right, that's fine. We lost one of our heroes. All right. Heroes, get off the wall now. I've had enough of you being on the wall. Yeah, we probably should have done all of the fighting off of the wall instead of on the wall, because on the wall was a bad idea. Yeah, this one I've accidentally kind of beans up a fair bit, but, you know, it's not gone too badly. Could have gone worse, if I'm honest. <laughs> but I did certainly make quite a few mistakes here. Oh, what a, what a beans up. What an absolute beans up. Oh, well, the enemy's defeated. Oh, what a shame. Did we properly lose a hero or are they going to come back? Well, yes, that was many more more losses than I actually needed to take. My micromanagement there was terrible. Oh well, we're just gonna have to wipe that battle out of the history books. Oh, and now we get the Berserker Sword. Oh, and luckily Stephanie did not die. She lived to fight another day. But of course, we now need to get some new units in our armies and hopefully get them trained up a little better. I'm thinking we go and get more Kevins and Nigels, if I'm honest, and the best way to do that is in this region here. But yes, we did manage to take Castle Drakenhof, and that means we want to demolish this building here. And in fact, we'll demolish this building here as well because we just don't need them and in the castle Drakenhof we can build an extra special kind of temple and this super duper special temple gives us super duper special units if you can believe it so here we go castle Drakenhof what is the special building we can build well it's this lovely bad boy here the mausoleum of the mad count now this is a very special building because it increases our vampire hero capacity by two it enables the recruitment of vampire heroes and hero recruitment cost minus 70 percent and the rank aka their level as soon as we recruit them is plus three. Yes, that's very overpowered. It's gonna be great. And you know, we're gonna send Vlad over here to be mean to us and or whatever. What on earth is happening here? Seriously, Griswold, are you not able to die? Please, can you just die already? I'm gonna have to send in good old Susan and Isabella to defeat you single-handedly then. Go, defeat this bad boy. Griswold, you have like no health. Just let me kill you, please. All right, Susan, I'm going to go to this battle and you just use drained life. All right, we start the battle and immediately... Isabella and Susan just run up, okay? <laughs> What is, what is Griswold gonna do? Just gonna stand there. Okay, I feel very sorry for you. Fireball, away! <laughs> oh, and um... That, that just killed him instantly. So yeah, the fireball is a, a unique weapon, perfectly balanced. <laughs> Which can be cast at an, an unlimited amount of times. Oh, there we go. There's Templehof, finally defeated. Well done, Isabella. Getting your one kill that battle. And we can begin the process of recruiting more Vargeists. Oh, and yep, the raise dead trick has worked. Because we haven't raised any dead from this province in quite a while, we're now able to recruit Black Knights, which are quite an overpowered cavalry unit. They are very good late game infantry. I mean, to actually recruit them, we need to be a level three settlement and... Uh, build this 4,000 gold worth building, which yes, we haven't done. Anyway, next turn. Oh, and there we go. Because we've done the Barrows and we've completed that, we've summoned a White King, and it's Malasar von Karstein. Now, Malasar is a White King, so effectively he is designed to be a fighter, not a spellboy. And of course we can merge him into Isabel's army. So there we go. We'll just embed the hero. Now, one thing we can do, because of course we've got this lovely brand new Mausoleum of the Mad Count built, is we can immediately start recruiting brand new heroes and we're going to recruit the lovely Sophie von Karstein and instantly she spawns and has incredible amounts of levels to do so we're going to give her a spirit leech life leeching then some armor lovely stuff well bam she's ready for combat immediately and we're going to send Sophie up here to help out Vlad von Karstein on his adventure into Essen or maybe we send herself to help out with our adventures into the moot yes I think we should take out the moot they look good fun oh you know what we might as well. Let's summon another one. Let's have all of the vampire heroes. We'll give a safeguard, life leeching, bam. So now we've got two heroes who have the incredible ability of just sapping magic out of the skies. And we're going to merge them all into this massive hero ball over here and yeet it into the enemy. And if this works out the way I think it does, at this point, we've hit the mark where we can no longer be defeated. Oh, an Ostermark to our north would like a non-aggression pact. I'm sorry, but Vlad's going to have to say hello to you, so we can't be doing that. Oh, and there we go. This is exactly 
exactly why. The Vampire Wars are about to begin. We want to be at war with Ostermark, and then we get free money and loads of bonuses. So, hello there, Ostermark. Let's send in Vlad von Memestein. You know what? To get our mission complete, I think this is the turn we're going to yeet our way into Essen immediately. Let's do it. I'm sorry, humans. It's not going to make you very happy. They are going to summon in an ally who I've never seen before, but hey, we've completed our mission, and now we have extra leadership against humans, and we're fighting humans. Who are we going to put our special banner on? Increased armor piercing damage. Do any of them have armor? Not really. <laughs> And uh, auto resolve. Glorious success. Oh, did we gain something? Oh, it looked like we did. Yes, Vlad gained glittering scales, meaning anyone around him has permanent minus eight melee attack. That's fine. And raised dead costs have been minused. <gasps> Oh, we could send him back and he could get those Death Knights and they'd be so much cheaper. Oh, he's so good. I love Vlad. And that's our turn complete. The humans are now vaguely scared. And the vampires are about to go on a roll. Wow, so yes, Vlad now has the ability to raise Black Knights and they only cost 651 to recruit. Oh, Vlad. Oh, Vlad, oh, Vlad, oh, Vlad. You know what? I actually want to leave this raised dead pool here because it's just going to get slowly better and better the longer we keep it. So, Vlad, you just hang around in Essen and do nothing. And eventually we'll win the people over. And now we want to merge all of our wizards into one massive hero meme ball. And now we have four heroes and Isabel, so five heroes in total and four Vargolfs, one Black Knight, two Crypt Horrors, and uh, this is going to be more than enough to take out the entirety of the moot, which we can sack for free grand. Oh, moot to your mind. What a brilliant fight this is going to be. <laughs> Do I want to fight this one personally? Oh, you know what? It does look good fun. They have got missile infantry, and I do love messing about with missile infantry. Right, let's manually do this one. Right, so Sterland, a group of lovely humans. You know, they just want to hang around. They want to farm their fields. I'm sorry, guys, but you proclaimed being part of an empire that just isn't my kind of empire. Anyway, here we go. The squad's ready. We've got the hero squad. It's <laughs> just the one white king and his four lady friends. Good old Susan Smashmouth and brand new Zelda and Sophie von Karstein. Oh, they're going to do great. They're going to have such a fun time. What a squad. Right, let's go. So we start the battle. And our magical recharge at the moment is one power point every six seconds. This is because these guys are just sucking power out of the air just for existing. Anyway, let's fly everyone in. You know what, Isabella, let's let's make you make yourself faster. Isabella is going to be speedy for the next 23 seconds. And we can literally use as many spells as we like because infinite spells and everything. Oh, you know what? Let's quickly fire a fireball because we outrange the crossbows with a fireball. Oh, we missed, but we did completely destroy the sword infantry. So not exactly a miss. Oh, right. You know what? Let's just charge. Let's go. Kill everything. And one thing we can do is soul blight. Yeah, let's let's soul blight all of them. So this decreases weapon damage of everything for 20 seconds. So all of them, their weapons are now going to do almost no damage. And now we send in the Vargoths, I think. It only makes sense. Vargoths away. Right, come on here squad. Fireball and cripple them. <laughs> oh yeah, come on squad. Let's drop in a lovely little soul drain. You know, now that we've got the entirety of the squad here, as soon as we're ready, we're going to pop down the mega heal. Oh, this is going great. Yep, their army's just been rinsed. <laughs> chase them, Susan. Chase them. And Isabella, have they all routed? Yeah. Yeah, they have. Right, more kills. Go. Did we lose any units? No. But can we heal anyway? Yeah. Just heal up all of the bad boys. Everyone has a nice little heal. And Susan, I want a fireball on them. Go, Susan, go. Oh, that was good, Susan. Well done. You know what? Good fight, I'd say. Very good fight. So there we go. How successful was that one? Ah, oh, zero losses in total. Perfect. God, I love the hero ball. You see, normally the game would say no and say, look, you can't have this many heroes. Also, they're not allowed to be this powerful. But no, for for some reason when they added this free DLC into the game and added Isabella von Karstein, they kind of just didn't think about that and just added her in anyway. So there we go. Good, good start for our lovely hero blob. They've done a great job and I think they can actually take even more heroes if I remember correctly because Isabella can take two extra. This building provides two extra so I think this army can actually have two more heroes. There's only one way to test and that's just to recruit two more heroes. Oh wow it is an actual Sophie. Hello Sophie. Perfect. Sophie you're going to be an absolute meme lord. And Castle Drakenhof 
half. If you thought this province wasn't already overpowered considering it had the mausoleum, well congratulations it's also got a gold mine, which is just going to bankroll our entire economy for the rest of the game. So now we're going to become wine merchants and gold miners. Infinite money. Oh, this is how it begins. All in all, I think that was a good turn. We've uh, managed to completely meme it up a bit more. And actually, whilst we're at it, I think Vlad needs another hero. So we'll recruit one more hero. The final hero will be recruited. And there we go. Two brand new heroes. One will go and help Vlad. The other will come over here and just increase Isabella's already completely unstoppable army. Oh, this is fine. We've hit levels of perfectly balanced that were previously thought completely unattainable in this video, it would seem. Oh, Sterling's confederated. Oh, that means we no longer can take this. It belongs to the Empire now. I mean, we did completely rinse the province, but fine. Now, sadly, this has been taken over by the Empire. Do I want to fight the Empire? I mean... <sighs> How strong is the Empire? Strength rank 3, we are strength rank 1. I guess this is the ultimate test of our abilities at the moment, so I guess it only makes sense. A new turn begins, logically it only makes sense to invade the moot and declare war on the Empire. Sorry Empire Carl Franz, your Empire is fake. And also I'll be auto-resolving your province. Wow, only two Crypt Ghouls were lost. That's great, <laughs> that's absolutely great. <laughs> right, we're gonna occupy you. Ooh, and a nice missile resistance icon, very tasty. Yes, you know what, I think we'll give that to the White King to make him better at taking out archers, lovely. And the moot is now ours, so what do we do with it? I think we just try and ramp up the vampiric corruption, if I'm honest. I'm gonna send Vlad to the left, and he's gonna start memeing up the Empire a bit more. There we go, a good turn was had by all. And mission, take Vert Band. Okay, that's up for Vlad to do then. Vlad, go take Verti Band. Well, Vert Band is literally the only province we can go for, so I guess Isabel is gonna head there as well. But of course, everyone in Isabel's army is now just leveling up of their own accord. Great. And there we go. We now have our new brand new friend has joined the squad. And uh, yep, yeah, it's going great. We now have six heroes in one army. Brilliant. That's perfectly fine. And if we wanted, we could have another. The game says it's it's perfectly fine to lob Sophie in there as well. Oh, right. Vlad, I think we're going to send you towards the Empire. Oh, and who do we see here? In Vertbad, we have the Castilian Engineer, I see. So we now see our opponent and defeating him should be fine. No problems there, I imagine. I really want to just raise an army over here just to see what kind of things we've now got spawning in this lovely raised dead pool. You, what can we now raise? We could literally summon an army here in one turn and just buy it immediately. That's great. Thank you. Right, Steinbeck Posner, you're gone. Beautiful. Oh, an ambush was foiled and apparently we recruited a brand new random necromancer. Eric Von Snickler. Eric Von Snickler, what a name. What can this boy do? He can raise dead and just necromance, I guess. Master of dead. Oh. Oh, I've seen this one. This allows you to continuously regenerate the health point of any combatants in a 30 meter radius. Basically means if we gather all of our hero ball into one point, we have the Necromancer and Isabella and Vlad. We're going to be regenerating health points faster than anything can take it away. So we're going to lob the Necromancer up here with our new friends. We're going to put Isabella on raiding, maybe. Our Vlad's raiding squad is now getting very powerful. There we go. Three heroes now. <laughs> Let's move them nice and close right up to the Empire now. There we go. Vlad is excited. I can sense it. Yeah, next turn we're going to actually take out the entirety of Vertbad. I mean, what does it have? It's a massive town. It's got a vineyard. It's got a weaving house. We're going to make so much money from this. And it's garrisoned by a ton of halberdiers and crossbowmen. And the army consists of a lot of militia and pistoliers. Pistoliers are meant to be very annoying to kill. But don't you worry. We've got fireballs and flying death bats. Alright, so we have Vlad. Vlad initiate the siege. So Vlad stands there, and apparently this is going to be a 100% loss. Oh, Vlad, this is very scary, isn't it? Well, don't worry, you're just going to continue the siege. Actually, you can level up again. Oh, so you've unlocked Blood Drinker. Okay, this is even better. This allows Vlad to continuously replenish his health points again. Now we want to plow on Isabella von Karstein into the mix. So Isabella comes in, and then we have Eric von Snickler here, who's going to join Isabella. And now we are ready to start the fight. Right. Uh, now apparently this is still not looking like it's going to be a victory, but don't worry ladies and gentlemen, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 heroes, and also 4 squads of Vargolfs. Uh, no, Vargas, that's what it is. Right, this is going to go great. Oh, I can feel good things coming. Good things are going to be coming indeed, ladies and gentlemen. My god. And if a lot of people die this battle, don't you worry, we're going to be able to raise a lot of dead. Also, I forget this is a siege, and if they have pistol cavalry, the AI just doesn't know how to use them. 
awesome. Right, let's start our deployment. So in front of us, we have the enemy city. I think as our reinforcements are coming from behind us, we're going to prepare the Chod Force 9000 of Skeleton Boys to run straight up the walls and just slow everything down. And we'll have our hero blob here on the right. And away we go. So Skeleton Chod Force, simply scale the walls. Hero ball. Uh, actually, let's have the heroes bash down the gate. Yeah, let's have all of the heroes squad on up. There we go. All 10 of them are going to run and smash down this gate. Now that's how we're going to do it. Fargeists, how would you like to start the meme off by um, landing on all of these close quarters infantry? Right, so Vlad's going to use his uh, wand of jet to <laughs> win some magic. Now one every two seconds. <laughs> oh god, no! No, that's that's not how it's meant to go, Vlad! No! How are the gun distractions going? They're going great. That's amazing. Right, Var, guys, what are we doing with you boys? I think we send you over here to say hi to the militia. Oh, you know, whilst we're under here, we might as well cast some evil spells on the people on the walls. Yeah, let's start destroying these uh, spearmen over here. Oh no, halberdiers are oh, very good. And here comes the hero blob. Yes, they're finally all coming. But anyway, there we go. All of the Var Vargeist did their job, so we're just going to pop the mega heal on all of the Vargeists. Bam! Vargeists now all get healed, and now we plow them where? Wow. It doesn't matter. We've got Hero Squad. Right, Hero Squad, assemble. Right, Vlad, I want you to immediately hex them, and you to increase power reserves. Now one power every one second. Let's add a can cause terror to uh, to just one of our random guys. Sure, Susan Smashmouth now has the ability to cause terror. <laughs> Oh my god. Imagine if you were one of these swordsmen. They're running out towards us. That's how scared they are. Oh gosh. They have infinite health as well. All of the like group heals. Oh this is fine. This is great. And the Vargeists are having a meme time. Good. Vargeists go kill the pistoliers while we're at it. All right, hero blob. It's time we move on. Let's just march you straight into the town center. And also where's Isabella? Isabel, I want you to start casting fireballs everywhere. Yep, yeah, good, good fireball. Little bit of team damage there. But you know what? It's all fine. Oh, actually, I've got an idea. What if we cast a hex onto the enemy lord so that he can do no damage and then we kill him? Right, and now the rest of you just run into the center. Oh, Vargolfs, you guys are doing great. Go uh, kill the free company militia again, please. Why is everyone just so hexed? <laughs> everyone is getting absolutely rinsed right now. Right, fireball away. Oh, apparently you missed the fireball, but just evaporated whatever was in front of you. Where's that enemy king again? Here he is. Look at him, treasurer. Right, bam. Let's beans him up a bit. And Vargas, go say hi to him. And whilst you're over here, because you guys, you know, you take damage occasionally, let's pop a nice great big group heal on. Get the squad back up to proper battle abilities. And you know what? Did we mega hex him? We did. Yeah, he does no damage now. That's going good. And this hero ball? You can fight here. Oh my god, is this just Susan Smashmouth and Sophie and Melissa and Zelda? Yes, rinse the unit. <laughs> <laughs> and they're so cheap as well, these heroes. It's not even like they're particularly expensive. They're not bad at all. Right, let's go kill these pistoliers. Oh, right, chase them. Right, Isabella, I want a great big group heal on everyone. Let's boost up the Vargeists again. We want mega health for them all. I think it's safe to say uh, we might have won this one. I can't really see how the enemy are going to pull this back. Wow, did we just win? Oh, we did. Oh, and it's a siege as well, so we don't even need to continue fighting. I I'd safe to say... Yeah, I think it's safe to say that that was a, uh, a good fight there, considering the auto Resolve was saying, no, you're not going to win that. We kind of did. Quite a lot, actually. There we go. The dead have risen once again. We get extra loot. Oh, 1,300 battle loot. Loads of XP. XP for everyone there. Good stuff. Are we going to sack this one? Oh, yeah, I think this one's a sacking. Okay, so there we go. We've sacked this, but then we can immediately occupy it with Isabella. And now that's a province secured. A mission complete. And we also have a very large pool of raised dead now. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. This is going great. And now we have Vertbad completed and captured. So let's build a vineyard there. Oh, fantastic. This is beautiful. Oh, God. <laughs> Sadly, we can't recruit any more vampire lords because we have too many. And the only way we can get more is to build more buildings. But we have so many. There is an infinite amount we have. There is no way to defeat us at this point. We have overtaken everything in this entire world. Oh, just actually, out of science, how many heroes can we put in Isabella's army? Says one more. And then can we add this one? No. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> 
Gabe! No! That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight heroes! All assisting one legendary lord. Oh, Gabe! You shouldn't let this happen! <laughs> So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I've been the Spiffing Brit. If you've enjoyed watching Total War Warhammer here today, please give the video a like. If you are interested, well, I actually have about three completely broken exploits for Total War Three Kingdoms, and also a few exploits for Total War Warhammer 2. If you'd like to see videos on them, give me a shout. If you have any exploits of your own or cheesy strategies that you'd like to see, give me a shout as well. Anyway, I've been the Spiffing Brit. You've all been absolutely majestic. I hope you've gone and got another cup of tea by now, and that, hey, if you haven't subscribed already, this is probably the video for you. Anyway, I'll see all of you in the next one. Have an absolutely lovely day. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, a massive thank you to all of my majestic patrons who at this point can now all be recruited as hero memes, I guess. Yes, each and every one of you patrons, you are either a, I guess, a vampire death lord, or if you don't want to be a vampire death lord, you could, I don't know, you could see that you were part of this video as a choddy skeleton climbing up the ramparts of a castle only to stand there and be shot at by archers whilst I refuse to micromanagement them. So yeah, that's what all of our patrons do and contribute to these videos. Thank you for being the chod that, help, that holds up all of our armies. And if you're looking for a video to watch next and you don't know which one to watch next, then look no further than these two on screen now. Trust me, they're handpicked by me and YouTube to be perfect for you. I know you're going to love them. Anyway, I've been the Spiffing Brit and I will see all of you in the next one. Goodbye for now.